what I'm doing here is I'm making absolutely sure that there is no residue of glue on the inside of the brass tube. Because if there is, one of three things can happen. Either you're going to break your pen press because it's going to be so tight, or you're going to get it about halfway on and realize something's wrong and you're going to stop, and you're not going to be able to get it on the rest of the way. You're not going to be able to pull it off either. Or it's going to go on all the way, but it's going to expand the brass tube so much that it's going to crack the wood. Now, I've never had this happen yet, but I can envision it happening. I'd sooner have it way too loose and have to glue everything together with CA glue later than have it too tight. Now one of those little handles is a lot darker than the other, so I want to get them rotated around so that's not so obvious. And now I think it's pressing time. Now the reason I'm using that piece of mahogany there is so that the metal part of the pen press doesn't damage the chromed metal on the corkscrew handle. Now I know making this corkscrew did take a lot longer than it should have, but then I did make my own bushings and I did make up a little mandrel that all took extra time. And I hope you found it interesting. Now we got to get on to the coffee scoop, the ice cream scoop, and finally the pizza cutter. Now I can save a lot of time here by not videoing the coffee scoop and the ice cream scoop. I can just go ahead and do it and get it done with. However, there could be people that would like to see it being done. So let me know in the comments below how you feel about it. Do you want to watch it? Or do you want me to just skip over it and get on with the pizza cutter? Anyway, in the comments below please. And thank you for watching.